Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here, Fukushima Day 493, it's July 16th, 2012, and uh, what you're looking at here is a live camera stationed outside the Fukushima Daiichi plant, uh, and we're looking down at reactor number 4, and the reason I'm making this video is, uh, in case you're not aware of, uh, TEPCO had mentioned a little while back that they were about to do a dry run, a test run on uh, trying to remove the first of those 1,535 radioactive rod assemblies. So they've kept the, the date secret, they didn't release the date, they did say it was in July sometime, and it looks to me that today could be the day. If you look up front here, uh, look up close, I mean, you can see these little white things moving around, there are obviously people that are all dressed in white, there was a whole bunch of them up there on that roof a little while back, probably well over 25 men. Uh, looks like it's uh, dwindled in numbers since then. However, there is a big crane station there, and that was never there before. And it looks to me like this could be the day that they're going to do that uh, test run. I'm sorry about the camera shaking. That's not at my end. This is the live camera itself here. I'll back up a little bit so you see what I mean. I'm just uh, filming off the uh, web page itself. So the camera, they're being hit by wind. Uh, obviously you're aware uh, there's a major storm going through all of Japan right now. It's uh, down further east at this point, uh, but uh, or I should say south of Japan right now, but it's working its way up. Uh, anyhow, I'll leave a link. You can probably see a few people already, right? I'm sure you can see that. I know it's a little rough here, but... Uh, Anyways, I'll leave a link down below if you can go look at the camera yourself if you want to keep up to date on it. Uh, I'll also leave a link to the online Geiger, uh, Geiger counter radiation detector map. So if you folks don't have a Geiger counter, uh, I've noticed there's two new folks here that, who've gotten them since I uh, made that video a little while back and I'd mentioned how we need to get our own Geiger counters and start taking care of our own business because our government's not doing it. Uh, that's right. Good job you folks. There I was Revelstoke in Kelowna, BC. Uh, that's important. Uh, I hope you guys are stationed high because uh, while well, the Geiger counters used to be in uh, Vancouver, uh, the city of Vancouver on top of buildings so they could catch the jet stream crossing the Pacific Ocean. However, when it blew up, uh, the officials here in Canada took the Geiger counters down before the plume hit the west coast. So unfortunately we have nothing from uh, the official side anymore reading uh, what comes down across Canada. So good job you guys. I'll also leave a link here to the radiation network. It's another one. i uh, notice a lot more people out there also nowadays keeping track. Good, good tracking on the west coast here. Great to see that people are participating in this. Okay, so like I said here, I'll leave a link. You folks go take a look, see what's happening on site. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dry run. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Okay, so you know how I am with the silver. I hope you got out there and bought. You know, I, I don't think we're going to see these prices ever again. We may, but I doubt it very much. I doubt it very much. I mean, this is this is prices we're looking at here back in 2010. I made that video a little while back also showing in January 2010. That's when we had the 2750, the 2690s. We fell them back to a two-year low. And interesting enough, those of us that are in the silver market, uh, we know that you pay attention to certain people when they buy, right? Well, guess who bought? Mr. Sprott, yes, and he bought a lot. Listen up. Uh, where a lot of the uh, buying came out uh, you know, late last week here. Okay, um, Sprott, the Silver Trust. Okay, it basically, um, it, it is, it's an ETF, as you're well aware. Well, if you're not, you are now. Okay, but Sprott, uh, they increased the size of his uh, ETF assets, his silver assets specifically. Um, to 38.1 million ounces yesterday. Okay, it was announced uh, Friday. That's up 5.2 million ounces, or 16 percent, just since July 10th. All right, that that's huge. All right, so that that's stronger hands coming in and scooping up the pounds, the precious metals. Okay, so there you heard it. Mr. Sprott bought 5.2 million ounces of silver. I'd made a video using the same fellow actually a little while back, Jim uh, Kamiski here. Uh, he'd reported how JP Morgan had also put aside 5 million ounces of physical silver for themselves or for whoever wanted to take possession of this physical. They're lining up, folks. The big guys are all lining up. It's up to you to get out there and buy your silver. Don't be listening to Stella Concepts, who's now going out telling people that it's going to fall down to 2350. Bullshit. He made a video buying silver. That's what it's called 
called Buying Silver, and he admitted that he bought in at 33, 32, 30, and now he's going on the internet telling folks it's going to drop down to 2350. Give me a break. If he knew it was going to fall down to 2350, then why the hell did he buy at 33 and 30? Okay, enough with the BS that he doesn't want people to buy because he bought in too early and he's going to make some money. I mean, the guy's selling precious metals now. Of course, he doesn't want his clientele to jump in there and buy lower than he did. Okay, you folks stay aware, stay awake, stay away from the scammers. I'll be reporting on Fukushima and precious metals and everything else with the economy because that's where it's at. Take care, folks. Last glimpse here of Fukushima. A few more people on that roof. The wind seems like it died down, which is a great thing. Heck of a time to be taking out one of those uh, radioactive rods with a storm coming up your ass. Okay, take care, folks. I'll leave a link down below.